Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like, don't forget to subscribe and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Good morning everyone, we're back on the job. The gang is back on the job. So today we're back on the uh, this roof, fiberglass roof. We're gonna um, fiberglass it today. And we're also going to try and do some cable well, do some cable rending as well. Base coat on this wall, as you can see, young Josh is taking the bad plaster off. I'll show you guys that, and I'll explain what we're going to be doing on that, and um, and I will explain the process of the fiberglassing as best as I can today as well. So I'm going to jump up on the roof, and then I'll run it through for you guys. So you can see the render state of this render. It's quite bad condition. You can see it's all coming off, paint's flaking back to the to the block. So I'm gonna take all of this off and then we're gonna uh, seal this or treat this wall and then we're gonna put some k -Ren base coat, a couple of angle beads and stuff like that today. Um, but in the meantime, me and Mr. A are gonna jump up on the roof and get the get it fiberglassed and then after lunch we'll do our top coat. Yeah, so we're using this resin. This is summer grade because it's quite hot now, so we're using this one. Um, so what we do is we fill up, this is the measuring cup, put some in there, this is our bucket that we use to mix, and just explain for those of you not sure or haven't seen me do this before on other videos. So we're using resin, so you've got standard or heavyweight mat, we're using the 450 gram mat, so we use this one. So at the moment you can see we're about one one and just over one and a half square meters of resin so you pour based on if you need three square meters you pour up to three of the resin three square meters then you turn this around to the other side and this tells you how much hardener to use so you can see how much how much hardener to add so this is our temperature now 25 to 35 degrees we're at the, the far end of that so i'll be very conservative with how much uh, hardener you can use obviously we're using the summer hardener um, you can use the extra slow hardener which would have been ideal but we, there's none about in the shops um, so you can see this is 25 25 mill milliliters I'm gonna take it to 20 bearing in mind we're not using the extra slow so we're gonna measure 20 uh, milliliters so if you look at the cup there's a chart on it when you squeeze squeeze that you fill it up you fill up to 20 and then once you get to 20 when you're ready second then you pour it in and mix it so you have to be ready to go as soon as you mix this you gotta move because it's quite hot so um i'm gonna put the camera down for this one
Okay, so we've done um, just over half of the roof. Obviously, we can't do all of it at the same time. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to step on it. So it's really hot. This is drying so quickly. We give this about 20 minutes and then we'll come back and do the last strip along the left hand side here do that strip then we're going to shoot off for lunch by the time we come back it's in an hour or so we'll be able to sand this give this a light sand and do the top coat so then we're done we'll uh, come back and do the bit of flashing underneath there because we're going to take those take those uh capping stones off put a membrane underneath and a bit of flashing under there so we'll do that next time while we are here though what we're going to try and what we're going to do for the customer since we're such lovely gentlemen <laughs> all this stuff is just growing everywhere so we're going to clean this stuff up because it's going to end up in the, it's going to end up in the gutter if you look here you can see all these gutters here so it's going to clean that out for them and then we'll just get the shovel and clean all that stuff up uh, we've also <laughs> got a tree growing here out of the mortar these things are important to take out because as you can see the mortar is cracking they they keep moisture in and then the roots will eventually crack the chimney breast. So we're gonna dig this out as well. Um, it does need repointing, to be honest, some places, but this is important. Things like this, if you see things like this in your walls or whatever, make sure you get it out. It's just gonna give you problems and headaches in the future. So yeah, we'll do that while we're up here. But yeah, we're gonna finish this little bit off and then we'll shoot off for lunch.
Right guys, so we've done our K-Rin base coat. It's all done. Angle bead and all that, ready for the top coat. So as I said, the top coat will be done at the same time when, you know, when we do, do the house with the gray. Um, so we've done the outside. We've also done coat on the inside as well. So that's the K-Rin done there. All right, so this is the roof, guys. The roof is dried off. You can see the sun. If you look at the sun, even where that pipe is, you can see where the sun has had more shadow. It's actually dries quicker in the shadier part. Because the sun is so hot, sort of keeps it a bit soft, but it's dry. It's looking good. It's waterproof, that's the main thing. Yeah, so another job done. Yep, so all we've got to do is just sort out the flashing on there and um, re-bed those uh, stones, which we'll come back and do once this is set properly. But yeah, give this gutter on this side a little clean as well. So yeah, it's looking good. All right, guys, so we're off now. We'll see you guys on the next video. Hope everyone has a great weekend. So I'll see you soon. Take care.